For more than a century, the performances have been unforgettable. If there's a better place than Carnegie Hall to hear music, the experts haven't heard of it. Over the decades, the most famous in the world of music have performed here. From Leonard Bernstein, to The Beatles, to Tchaikovsky, to Old Blue Eyes. If I can make it there. But here in New York, New York, something had changed at Carnegie Hall over the last decade. Ever since the hall was renovated in 1986, there had been the complaint that the acoustics had been deadened by a layer of concrete built under the stage. But Carnegie Hall insisted no such concrete layer had been put there. We always understood the concerns with regard to the acoustics of the stage and the stage four, and everything did, we did was under the direction of the acoustician and concrete was not part of his directions, concrete was not part of the plans that we produced. So imagine the surprise at Carnegie Hall a few weeks ago when after the floor started to buckle, it was discovered that concrete had been put under the stage. I was extremely unhappy because I was one of the people who had said there wasn't concrete under there. The concrete has now been taken out. However, no one has claimed responsibility for it being there in the first place. Everybody now knows the different acoustics were not their imagination. It hasn't been really consistently, acoustically good enough, I think. The post-1986 acoustics are still considered unparalleled by most. But the acoustics prior to 1986 are considered, well, even more unparalleled. In a week and a half, the Philadelphia Orchestra will perform in the first concert with the new stage. Will the sound be as good as pre-1986? Well, no one here expects an immediate concrete answer. They say it will take time to ascertain how the acoustics have changed, but they are very optimistic. Every bit of logic says it's going to work, and I think that we'll have our glorious Carnegie Hall. It may be 104 years old, but Carnegie Hall is about to have a new beginning. Gary Tuckman, CNN, New York.